Hello, everybody. How are you today? I'm very good, thank you. Today we're going to talk about the environment. Environment. Well, this is the planet Earth where we live. This is Spain. And the planet Earth is a big environment with lots of different environments. Have a look. Uh, the environment of the sea, a desert, the jungle, big valleys, okay, different environments. An environment is a place where people, plants and animals live. So, I know you know some environments already. Remember what the penguin lives? Yes, it lives in the South Pole. And what about the camel? Yes, in the desert. What about the monkey in the jungle? Yes, these three environments are very different. In the South Pole, we don't see plants. Do you see plants anywhere here? No, it is very cold. And in the desert, there are very, very few plants and animals because there is very little water and it's very, very hot. And in the jungle, there are lots and lots of trees and lots of water and lots of animals. Okay? So, different environments. Some environments have, like this one, what is this blue thing? Yes, it is a river. Some environments have this blue body, body of water, a lake. Yes, a lake. And some environments have, wow, bigger body of water, the sea and the oceans. Some other environments have, oof, what is this? Ice. Some other environments have snow. And what, ab uh, what about these? What are these shapes? Mountains. Mountains. Some environments have... Oh, what is this? The space between the mountains? This area here? Surrounded by mountains? It is a valley. A valley. That's correct. And some other environments have lots of trees. Lots of trees. When you see lots of trees together, we call it forest. A forest. Okay. All those environments and all the elements that we have just saw are natural, natural. The rocks, the sand, the air, the water, all the things that are in these environments, they are natural. But there are other environments, man-made man-made environment remember made by the man can you tell me some man-made environments mm, think where do you live uh -huh. maybe you live in a city if you live in a city like a big city like this one with high or tall buildings this is a big city this is a man-made environment okay and the air is not so clean as in the jungle. No, no, because it's a little bit dirty, dirty, pollute. If you live in a town or a village, they're smaller than the cities. Maybe you live in a house or a small building, not so tall as in the big city. These, the town and the village, are also man-made objects. The man has made the houses, the buildings, and everything. Okay? Those are man-made environments. So natural and man-made, remember? Okay, what makes up the environment? What is the environment made of? Mainly of three things. The soil, the air, and the water. Let's have a look at the soil. The soil is made of rocks, air, 
animals, dead plants, and water. Dead animals, dead plants, and water. So, the soil is made of all these things. It's not just rocks or sand, okay? There are a lot of things in it. When the plants and animals die, they become part of the soil. Here in the soil you can see a little bit of plants, a little bit of animals, dead animals, okay? Why is soil so important for everybody? For the animals, for the for the people because first they the soil give us food food for plants but the plants also give us food t uh, for the people here you, here you have the apple tree the apple tree takes the food from the soil through the roots remember the roots here are the roots and they take the food also with the leaves and the roots and the apple tree give us apples so the plants provide they give us the people some food like this apple yes but also the plants give food for the animals look this apple is also good for the animals for the pig and the animals also, this pig, provide food for the people. We eat the ham. Do you like ham? Yes, I do. This is the leg of the pig. So the soil is very important because the soil gives uh, give food to the plants, to the animals and to the people. As you can see, the Soil gives the food to the plant, the plant gives the food to people and also provides for the animals and people eat also eat also the animals. Excellent. Soil is also the home for some animals. Some animals like the rabbit, the earthworm and the mole live in the in, in the soil. Look these are the ants. Don't you see them? Oh, they're inside the soil. This is the house of the ants. And also, this is the house. The soil is the house for the earthworm. Yes, do you see the earthworm? Oh, lovely. And also, the house for this animal called mole mole look at the mole he lives he lives inside the soil under the ground okay let's have a look now at the water the water it uh, could be found as in the rain or it could also be as uh, as a sh as a snow, yes. Or we could have we could see this the water on the clouds because the clouds are made of water. The water also could be found in the rivers, in the lakes, and the seas and oceans. Okay, the planet Earth is full of water has lots and lots of water and most of the water is salt water it, it is in the seas and in the oceans the fresh water that we can find in the rivers and in the lakes is very little okay the most of the water in the earth is salt salty from the seas and the oceans what is water so important? Oh, because without water there is no life. Look at these plants. The living things die without water. Look at the desert. There is no life because there is no water. Yes? Water also 
exist in the environment in different states. States? Yes, yes. One of these states is the liquid state. Liquid? Yes. For example, the river, the seas, the oceans, the rain, the lakes, and the underground water. Like this one, inside the caves. Uh, it is liquid. This water is liquid. Okay, you cannot take it in your hand. It goes between your fingers. But also, the water can be found in a solid state. Solid, yes, like the snow. Yes, you can make snowmen because you can hold it in your hands. It's solid, it's not liquid. It's solid, like the ice. Yes, you can hold it in your hand also. The water also could be in a gas state. Gas state. Yes. Look at this. These, it looks like smoke, but it's no smoke. Is the steam or vapor that it comes out from the boiling water. When it's very, very, very hot, the water, you can see this. Okay? Have a look at, at home with your mom and dad. The steam and the vapor coming out from the boiling water. Also, you can see the water in a gas state every day. If you look at the sky, you will see the clouds. The clouds are made of water. Yes, water. The water that comes from the seas and the rivers and the lakes. When it's very, very hot, the water goes up and forms the clouds. And the third element that makes up the environment, remember, is the air. The air. The air is everywhere and it's made of gases and one of them is... Have a look. Ooh, oxygen. Oxygen. Wow, well, that's mas magic. It's everywhere but you cannot see. But it's there, it's there, okay? So when you breathe in, you get in your lungs some oxygen, okay? So air is essential for all living things. Plants, animals and people need, to need air to breathe. Remember how to breathe in? With your nose, yes. And how do we breathe out? Breathe out with our mouth. Okay, in, out. Excellent. Okay, so the air, you cannot feel, um, see it, but you can feel it. Yes, how can you feel the air? Oh, by the wind. Yes, I'm sure you remember when the wind blows, you can feel it because maybe it's a bit, little bit cold or your hair is is moved or your clothes are moving so the wind is part of the environment also and it moves the windmill to produce some energy and also you can play some sports with the wind like the windsurf yes this boy is moving thanks to the wind okay Excellent.